Hi, this is Mark Patterson, University Ombuds for Cal State University Channel Islands with another conflict management tip. The idea today is mindful procrastination. Now, procrastination gets a bad rap in much of Western society. We tend to think of procrastination as laziness or unwillingness to make a tough decision. But in some instances, particularly when it comes to conflict, mindful procrastination can work in your favor. Think of first about what might be gained by delaying a critical decision. In many cases, you might be able to allow an idea or something that is an option that is only in vague terms to begin to ferment and form more concrete feel to it. Another possibility in delay management and mindful procrastination is what I like to think of as fortuity gathering, that things and developments may work out that were unforeseeable at the moment when you are deciding whether to make a decision or not. So when you're looking at a question of whether mindful procrastination might work in your favor, there are a few things to take, keep in mind. First is to consider when a decision must be made. It is sometimes tempting to feel like I wanna just make a decision, wipe my hands of it, check it off my list, get it out of the way. And that's not a bad feeling necessarily. But it is also possible that decisions can sometimes get stacked up or mashed up in our minds. Imagine a, a teenager with a big writing assignment due for school being reluctant to start because it seems like all too much. So distilling what that key moment of decision must be made when you're looking at a, a negotiation or a conflict is a critical decision in any circumstances, whether or not you intend to procrastinate making that decision or not. Then when you are clear in your mind of what that key decision, first decision must be, then look at what your bingo point is. And your bingo point is something I borrowed from the world of aviation. You ask a pilot what your bingo point is and they'll be able to tell you that's the point where, where your plane will no longer be able to return to the field it took off for. The fuel left is only enough to get you to another destination. And in the world of conflict or negotiation, knowing when that bingo point is for your decision, when it's the latest possible moment where you can make a decision allows you to be mindful about how you might make it and be able to then gather fortuity or take advantage of idea fermentation if you want to. Of course, in doing, knowing what your bingo point is, you also need to know what your expected implementation time might be. Then knowing what your decision bingo point is, you allow yourself space to act at the right moment. Now I have a little slide here showing a picture of a tennis player. In the world of tennis, you might think that the best people at returning a serve are those who can decide quickly and move towards where the ball is going to be. But in fact, studies have shown it's not that way. What actually happens is the best returners know how quickly they can act and delay moving until the very last possible moment to give themselves maximum flexibility within their preparation arc, within their ability to react. It seems counterintuitive that the fastest and best tennis players would actually build delay into the micro compressed time of returning a serve, but in fact, that's what happens. And we can take advantage of that same principle in negotiation or conflict management to act when we decide is the last possible moment allows in many instances us to take advantage of idea fermentation and the ability to gather fortuity. There's your quick conflict management tip from the University Ombuds at Cal State University, Channel Islands.